pie for the juiciest leaf on the tastiest tree in all the territory that you roam, that you roam. In September 1938, a freighter bound for New York City was caught in a powerful hurricane off the coast of Long Island. On board were two young giraffes from Africa bound for the San Diego Zoo. The giraffes, though battered and bruised in their wooden crates, were rescued and became instant celebrities. In today's book talk, author Linda Rutledge takes us on a road trip with her best-selling novel titled West with Giraffes. Hello again, I'm Irene Concilia. Woodrow Wilson Nickel, a centenarian confined to a wheelchair in a nursing home, is writing a memoir about his youth during the Great Depression when he drove those giraffes across the country to the San Diego Zoo. That zoo was an experiment in animal husbandry. It was one of the first to do away with cages and keep animals in habitats specifically designed to replicate their natural environment. Woody, as he was called, was an orphaned stray dog kid from the Texas Panhandle who escaped the poverty of the Dust Bowl by riding the rails eastward. He had hoped to hook up with Kin in New York, but that didn't pan out. So he decided to try his luck in the land of milk and honey, sunny California. But getting there without a red cent to his name was impossible until he finagled the job of truck driver for the celebrity giraffes. And what a smooth talker he had been to convince their caretaker to give him a shot. Here he was, a 17-year-old skinny kid without a driver's license, driving a customized truck carrying two tons of precious cargo across America. So who was this kid anyway? He says, I was a dirt farm rowdy, pure as a cow pie, clever as a wild hog, and already well acquainted with the county sheriff. On that farm in Texas, he learned to love and care for animals. He understood their utterances, spoke their language, anticipated their needs. But handling two wild creatures that stood 15 feet tall and ate tons of hay every day would test his courage and his cunning. No matter how friendly the giraffe seemed to be, the warning he had been given always lingered in the back of his mind. Predators have claws. Prey have hooves. Giraffes are prey, and their hooves can kill with a single blow. So beware. This novel inspired by true events, is a heartwarming adventure story about a homeless kid, an old man caretaker, a beautiful young photographer, and an assortment of scallywags and miscreants with evil intentions. Their road trip on the Lee Highway from New York City to San Diego is a snapshot of Depression-era America where the dispossessed strapped their meager belongings onto their tin lizzies and headed west to that land of milk and honey. This feel-good story, written in the voice of the stray dog kid from the Dust Bowl, is sure to entertain and inspire. 
Woody Nickel teaches us that joy can be found anywhere. It can be found in the affection of animals, the kindness of strangers, and the satisfaction of a job well done. There is no explaining the world, where you find yourself in it, or who your friends turn out to be, says the old man in hindsight from his wheelchair. West with Giraffes by Linda Rutledge is a New York Times bestseller with thousands of five-star reviews on Amazon. And I, too, give this wonderful book five stars for its exciting plot, its historic relevance, and its moral values. Until next time, I'm Irene Concilia. You're a giraffe with a long, long neck.